I really hope you guys can hear the rain outside. It rarely rains here, and I thought, ah, I hope my viewers can listen to the rain. Hi guys, I'm Monica, and welcome back to my channel, Mini Reads, where I talk about books and things. I don't know why I'm feeling like this chill vibe. I think we need a candle. Hang on, let me get a candle. We got a candle. Anyway, um, <laughs> again, hi guys. I'm Monica, and welcome back to my channel, Mini Reads, where I talk about books and things. And like I said, I feel like with the rain and the stuff, I, I like, I'm having a chill day today, which is like super important after all that's been going on. But anyway, we'll talk about that in my next video. But with this video, I want to talk about something that really grinds my gears a little bit, and that is Amazon. Now, before, before anybody gets on my case, I 110% believe Amazon is the devil as much as Disney is the devil. I get it. I get it. I get your point. I believe H&M is the devil and so is Zara and Mango and all of these horrible places that take advantage of the fact that they not only mon monopolize an industry but also just fuck it up for everyone. I want to make that 110% clear. However, just like Quitting fast fashion is actually a privilege for most people. Quitting buying books on Amazon is also a privilege for a lot of people. Now, let me let me get let me get again. I just want to make sure everybody understands what I'm saying. Um, I think that Amazon is horrible when it comes to book selling. I know they sell books underpriced, and I know that they basically are book depository, and I know that they manipulate you so that they monopolize every industry, not just the book industry, but a lot of industries. And I don't think that that's right at all. However, and here's the caveat, just like I think buying from H&M is not exactly ethical, I can't blame somebody that doesn't have the resources to buy from other places that are not H&M. Because the reality is H&M is real cheap. Just like Amazon when book buying comes is real cheap. Now I know you're saying, Monica, but there are second hand stores where you can find these books. And I'm like, yes, there are. In the United States and other English speaking countries. Especially for people that make videos in English like I do. I live in a country where it's notorious that they don't appreciate the English language as much as other countries in Europe, like for example Belgium or and I, I well you know I, I can't I'm I'm very bad at geography but I literally all I all I'm good at is art but um, um yeah it's not like I can go to a second I don't have a secondhand bookshop that is not in the UK that will not ship to Spain with like an insane, insane amount of money. Last time I got a shipment from a used bookstore in the UK, I bought four books and the shipment was almost 20 euros. Now 20 euros might not seem a lot to you, but for somebody with limited resources, 20 euros is a lot. And then I know you're going to say to me, Monica, but what about libraries? Again, great, except that I won't have access to books until those books are translated. And even then, a lot of books are not translated. And if I request them, a lot of the times the non-translated versions of a book doesn't come because it just doesn't have an audience. It's not like I request this book and just because I requested it, it gets bought by the library. No, they also have to think of cost versus benefit. Like, are, is anybody going to read Donna Tart, The Secret History in English? Maybe, maybe not. I, you know, that is something that libraries and, what's that called? Like internal... Budgeting, there you go, internal budgeting, has to contend with. Is this book worth buying simply because somebody requested it? So, of course, there are other options like um, Audible, not Audible, Audible is <laughs> Amazon, I'm sorry. Which, by the way, Audible is not even that good. But there are other options like um, at 
least in at least in Spain. I can only talk about Spain. I can't talk about other countries because I don't live there. But in Spain, you have what's it called script. But script also, first of all, that that alone says that you are into audiobooks. Some people are not into audiobooks, and you can't like force them to be into audiobooks. And then the other thing is that they don't have maybe the book that you want to read so yes my friend um amazon is uh kind of the devil but i think putting the the blame on the people that use amazon um is kind of forgetting that you are in a privileged spot all right i can't and, and even if i i know there are places in spain where i can buy um english books there are, except that they're just as bad as Amazon. It's um, Fnac, which is a big ass chain that has killed a bunch of bookstores. And then there is uh, La Casa del Libro, which is an another big ass chain, you know. And then the tiny bookstores where I could buy these books, you have to order them. And sometimes they are three to four times the price that I would pay for Amazon. If I have the money, and I know that some people are going to say, well, Monica, quality over quantity. Great. That's great. But you are forgetting that some people can't even afford these books at, like, Amazon prices. And then you're like, yeah, well, save up your money. It's like, isn't that, a, like, a really privileged thing to, to go on about? And I see all of these videos about, like, oh, where to find cheap books. And, and you know, I watch them, and, 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 and it's like, and don't buy from Amazon. And, and then it's only places that ship, ship to Canada or the U.S. or that the shipping alone for the book is worth double the book. And it really grinds my gears because, I mean, I understand that Amazon is horrible. Like, again, I get it. I, I understand. But I just don't think that the people making these videos understand just how privileged they are to be able to not shop at Amazon. You know, it's like the people that talk about buying or being, uh, bu buying like, I got it. Like, I, I, I'm an English teacher. I can say these words. Like, buying ethically. There you go. Buying ethically. Buying ethically, as somebody who tries to buy ethically, is super expensive. And I know you're thinking, yeah, well, instead of buying five sweaters, buy one. Except that sometimes buying those five sweaters is less expensive than buying one from a store that is ethical. And I'm not saying that buying ethical is bad. What I'm saying is I really don't appreciate these videos where it's like, if you're buying from Amazon, maybe think it over because like Amazon is evil. It's like, I think we all know that, but I think you're putting the problem on the people and not the company. I mean, I think the videos should be aimed at how Amazon should not be evil. The same thing with Disney. I don't blame people for watching Disney movies. I blame Disney for being a piece of shit, you know? And it really upsets me because again, it just puts like this pressure on people that you need to do better and you need to do this. It's like with the plastic thing. Why are we putting pressure on people not to buy plastic and then all you sell is shit with plastic on it? And then, of course, if you don't have one of those wonderful bookstores that they have in the U.S. around you, you literally sometimes have no choice. Or the choice that you do have are unpractical for you. Is that a word? Unpractical? Impractical? I don't know. It, it just upsets me because I think not only is this like a very it's just unforgiving of people that cannot afford the things that you can afford and that really pisses me off we sh we should be better of course if you can and if you have the ability 
to buy books from indie used bookstores, bookstores, uh, bl black owned bookstores. Like for example, the other day I said that I that uh, that I was reading the only good Indians and stuff, and a lot and somebody not a lot of people, sorry. <laughs> And somebody commented like, I love these people pretending to um, um, uplift Native American authors, but they don't buy from Native American stores. And I'm like, I live in Spain. I mean, I'm sure there might be a Native American bookstore somewhere, but trust me, I did a Google search and I couldn't find any. And even if I could, they don't sell the book in English, therefore I would have to wait until the book gets translated. And I know, I know I could wait, but I wanted to read the book. And I know that that's like, that might be selfish to you or whatever, but I just think that there is such a disconnect between what can be done, what should be done, and, and what is plausible to be done. I wanted to support a Native American author, so I bought their book, and I read it, and I loved it, and I talk about it, and then suddenly I'm bad because I didn't buy it off of somewhere that is not Amazon. Like, so we're, we're creating this dialogue where perfection is key. And I'm sorry, but I can't be perfect. I really do try. Like, you've got no idea. Like, I've got issues. <laughs> but, and also, a lot of these videos about fuck Amazon are just from English-speaking countries. What about all of us booktubers that are not in English-speaking countries and where English is not readily spoken? Because if you tell me, well, I don't know, Belgium, I, I keep saying Belgium. I don't know why I have it like with Belgium today. I'm sorry, Belgium. But in many countries, English is naturally the second most spoken language or one of the languages that gets taught in school. In Spain, we barely have gotten there. We like, like the gener, my generation doesn't speak English. That's why I'm a fucking English teacher here. So yeah. It just pisses me off. It just pisses me off because it... As consumers, we should be aware of what we're consuming. I'm not saying we shouldn't, but don't make assumptions and don't forget that sometimes what you think is not a privilege is a privilege. So yeah, that's all I gotta say <laughs> for now. Um, it just really upset me because you try to do your best, you know? And and I know so many people on here are on pennies of budget. And yeah, Amazon offers that penny budget a go. And, and again, talking about libraries and used bookstores, you don't know how lucky you are to have those around you. Some people don't have libraries. Some people would have to drive or get on a bus for, for like 40 minutes to get to their library. And their library is about this big and doesn't have any of the books that they want to read. And of course you can say like, well, then they shouldn't be reading those books. But really, are we gonna be that people that are like, well, if you can't, then don't read it. You know, like, anyway. That's my rant for today. I didn't have this video planned, but I saw a video about somebody talking about how evil Amazon is. We all know how evil Amazon is. Y'all know how evil Disney is, and I don't see you complaining, you know? So, yeah. Be kind to each other. Remember that we don't all have the same economic abilities or even the same like abilities to get things. It's, it's just really annoying, okay? Take care of each other, love each other, be kind to each other, and well, without any further ado, I bid you adieu, and I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>